my job is really simple. Brandon and I, you know, we're definitely racing against each other. Two drivers enter, one driver leave. Ken's having a really good morning. It's been a pitch battle back and forth. That's what makes it challenging. We're not out of this championship yet. We don't want to catch fire. Oh, hi. Wow, what a finish. Force Rally, you're equally part scared and excited coming into this race. It's the Rally Finland of the U.S. You're in the air more than you're on the ground. Uh, probably fastest overall speeds of, of any rally that we do in the U.S. Um, it is, it's wild. The main characteristic of New England Forest Rallies is, is, is the big embedded rocks you get on the stages. They're painted orange, bright orange, and you'll just like just see them in the distance. And some are just so in the way that you you have to basically drive over it. It's tricky, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what makes it challenging and separates the top drivers. Hell yeah! Good luck, Mike. Let's give it Right, four miners open very long. We have to win this rally. This is kind of the swing state. Uh, if you're looking at uh, you know, politics and presidential debates, this is Florida. We need it. Thanks, mate. That's a good one. Yeah, find a good rhythm. <laughs> With the drop round situation though, it's going to be interesting because Brandon and Ken have both won two rallies each. It's really important that Travis and I get two wins and be on the same playing field as those guys when we do drop, you know, some of the rounds and only count six. Oh, let's touch along 30. Very late, all right, minus arrow, don't long. Brandon and I, you know, we're definitely racing against each other. We're both battling for the championship, but we're working as a team to drive every stage as hard as we can to, to make Ken believe that, that we're quicker. One fifty. Max Crest and Max Price. We've actually had a very good day today. The stages were mostly dry first thing in the morning and not a lot of dust, so the times were, were very high. It's really nice to finish the first day and everybody's so close. Tomorrow will be a really good battle. We don't have any uh, red flag on the cars, so tonight will be just a, a, a short reprep, checking everything out. Hopefully we can keep the rhythm tomorrow and same idea, but obviously tomorrow will be uh, a lot trickier with all the rocks in the road. I think we might have gone a little bit too easy today. Um, we didn't leave much on the line, but Brandon took everything. Right, six over long crest over finish. 
Yep, got it there. Turbo's gone. There's no, is there any warnings? Nothing. Nope. And have we got white smoke out the back? I can't tell, we got a lot of dust. I can smell it though. I can smell it too. Yeah, it's been an eventful start to our day. We've had a few issues where Brandon is doing everything he can to keep the gap uh, to Ken. Ken's having a really good morning. He's closing that gap. With Travis, we had a turbo issue. It was really bad, so we're worried that if we go, we're gonna catch the car on fire. But so you don't see any oil around the turbo or anything? Uh, it's coming out, all the turbo when we start the car, all the smoke comes out under the bonnet, and then all the white smoke out of the exhaust. No, it's over. You're going to starve the engine of oil. Can we kill the we turbo? don't want to catch fire. Uh, they had a lot of smoke, uh, a lot of oil problems. Uh, so they started the last stage a little late, which gave them a small time penalty. Uh, but they were able to bring it back here to service uh, and we're about to start. So we'll get 30 minutes to change the turbo on both cars and get them back out. Hello? Maine needs better uh, cell towers. Yeah, we're still in the lead, but not by much. Ken's kind of trailing right behind. He made up some time on us. So hopefully when we go back out here, we'll, uh, we'll have no issues and we can just keep pushing and, and battle on. So still sitting third overall with putting in the woods, then having a blown turbo and the car smoking where we thought it was going to burn down. Um, to still be sitting third is, it's all right. We're not out of this championship yet. It's uh, not looking great, but we're going to keep pushing and see what happens. So that service was crazy. We had about 28 minutes from cars in to cars out, and we had to do turbos on both cars. But they got both of them done. Both crews did an amazing job. We got the cars out on time. They're on the ground. They're ready to go. And they're going back out for the last five stages to hopefully go out there and bring home the win. So that's the bumpy. Five right minus, over 55, potent late, three long, rocks maybe, 70, care, five left, over 45, potent. Kick jump, 25, left five plus, rail, slowing 30, oh right four plus, slowing 30, right four plus, on bridge. Long, okay, opens 50, Titans keep five plus, okay, over finish. Okay, second quicker than last time. Just one second? Oh, please. Oh, just that, or only a second quicker. Oh, right, right, okay. I was really hoping for more than that. This is probably one of the best battles uh, in ARA history. I just, I wish I was a part of it. Um, front row seats, watching the lines, and I'm amazed that both of those guys are, are still on the road. They're still going, and they, no one's really given an inch. No one's made a mistake. Everyone has been spot on, and uh, that's a testament to their notes, a testament to the co-drivers, a testament to the driving. It's been an amazing rally. It's definitely really challenging. We've been on the maximum pretty much since uh, stage one. I wish there was some reserve in the tank, but we're pretty much just gonna keep going how we're going and, and hopefully it works out. Two drivers enter, one driver leave. <laughs> and then, then us too, we're gonna try to get in this mix. Power stage. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Four left opens over King 30. Black crest, clip right over 95 down, turn dome two left, open. The top two cars, Brandon Seminock and Ken Block, are separated by 2.9 seconds right now. It's been a pitch battle back and forth, just fighting all weekend between Brandon and Ken. But it's been nice to see the, the pace of our cars up against that WRC car from Ken and how close this championship is shaping up to be for the rest of the year. Press going, left five plus, and Titans pass crest okay. 50, Titans pass crest. 50, Max Brell. 50, hug right five plus. 
we get in there and there's dust that you're nearly having to stop because you can't see. I just can't even explain how crazy the dust was in there. It was, it was insane. That left of a double small crest, 70. Six left of a second flat crest, 45. Breaking before crest side, they four right minus. Titan three long, hold over finish. 100. Well, I did what I could. Good job. That was a big push. I don't know if it's really enough, but no, I'm not sure. Wow, what a finish, 0.9 seconds. Uh, we got the better end of the deal there. It showed that uh, Brandon's a fantastic driver, very calculated, and uh, came out with the win, 0.9 seconds over you know, all, that, all that time on stage. So really, really impressive, and uh, couldn't be more proud of the team. Wasn't really expecting much out of it, but we made a big push, had a really good stage, managed to get 3.8 seconds out of them, which means we won the rally by 0.9 seconds. So after all that, less than a second between us, insane. I was on the absolute limit the whole time. It's incredible the car's still here because we were pushing it to the absolute maximum. I don't remember many days that I felt like more of a fan to have Brandon Semenuk and Ken Block, I mean, David and Goliath. He took down Goliath today, like all jokes aside. The best drive ever. Yeah. Thank you. Brandon didn't make any mistakes. And on the last stage, honestly, Ken and Alex drove through the dust the best I might have ever seen them drive. Ken Block and Alex Del Cimino. How does it feel today? You want the truth? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm not happy with second. Dust ruined our rally here at the end, and. You know, it was a great battle with Travis and Brandon. Brandon drove his ass off. We got the lead before the last stage and unfortunately got robbed of that lead by dust. So we drove our ass off and lost by nine tenths because of dust. So I am bitter. It is what it is. That's really. Well, congratulations. You know, I feel for Ken. He had to deal with that at the end. Uh, but what a drive from Brandon. Brandon Semenuk, Keaton Williams, come on up. Not only is this a win on the weekend, uh, it's also max points because he got the power stage win. And uh, that has pushed him into the lead of the championship, which is just fantastic for the team and uh, couldn't be more happy for, for everybody. Travis, still in the hunt for the championship in a big way, needs a, a strong end of the season here. Now it's real simple. I win Ojibwe, which is my best rally. Um, I win STPR for the first time ever, um, even though I'm really bad at that one, but just magically I'm going to be better this year. And then it comes down and all the pressure comes down the end at LSBR, and then I'll win that one too, and, and we'll get the championship. So as far as I'm concerned, my job is really simple. Congratulations, all of you. Super job, and thank you for putting on such an amazing show.